Greetings from Mark Saloon tonight. We have uh, we have a sale here in the city. Right this well today actually. Uh, coho salmon for nine bucks a pound instead of fourteen or fifteen. So we went ahead and got ourselves some coho salmon that we're going to put in the freezer. That's why I just buy a pound if you can get it like for the freezer. So um, it's nine bucks a pound. It's the second sale this year on fresh, never frozen coho from Alaska. Um, Actually, I even know a town in Alaska, and I might have been there, but I forget where it was. But I, I didn't make note of where it was from. So uh, this is obviously the, right, the end of the salmon runs in Alaska right now. So this is it, folks. It's going to be snowing up there pretty soon. And of course, you don't want to buy farmed salmon because that's been eating GMO corn and all kinds of other shit to say like it is. So the only salmon you should eat is, is the wild stuff. Otherwise, don't touch it. Um, life is one big choice, you know. As long as you can afford certain choices, I understand that. Anyhow, so we're going to just uh, start our salmon cooking session tonight with a uh, little salmon reality check. Here. So here you have a whole side of coho right here. That's it. That's coho right here. And so what happens is, when they do this um, coho salmon, I, I don't like bones in my fish. And I discovered earlier this year when I bought one that there's these little bones sitting here. Like that. And they're hard to get out with your fingers. Okay? And as you can feel them, they're sitting right up along the line right here. Um, I think there were two rows. I have to find the other row. But in any case, I just want to show you if you do this that uh, either it's the Whole Foods people that are dweebs and that end up leaving bones in the salmon, or this is how it always comes. Uh, but in any case, I just uh, go ahead and take, let me just wash my hands though before I get going on this. Let me dry fingers for the next job. The fingers are now dry. Let me just make sure they're completely dry, because you'll know in a minute why they need to be dry. If you take your little fancy tweezers, because you're using them on yourself, you put them in a cup of hot boiling water before you start using them on your food. But uh, these tweezers were immensely useful last time I, I did this. So let me just show you. You just grab this thing. I think in the beginning I even had my headlamp on just so I could get a good look at it, you know, a little camping headlamp, and then I can see everything. Um, but yeah, you just feel for these bones, and then you just pick them out. That way, you figure it's a little time now, but then when you sit down to enjoy this salmon and you don't meet a bone on the way, rock on, you know. So uh, we're not going to bore you with this, we just want to show you how this works, and then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue when it's time to cook these... Um, it's easier, too, not to talk and do this at the same time. So we'll get back to you when it's time to cook a piece of this wonderful salmon, and the rest then will be going in the freezer. So this will be about one, two, three, four, five or six pieces here. And the cameraman and you truly split one of those every time we eat. So that's basically five or six weeks worth of, of salmon since we eat this once a week. So uh, that'll take us to about three months. We have two pieces. Here's the other one. So that's about three months worth of salmon for the two of us, so hey, can't beat that. We're part way through the slicing of this. So we normally do a piece like this and we share it between two people. And we believe in sort of um, condiment sized meat in this house, so that's enough for two. But of course if you're a bigger eater then do whatever you need. This though comes to about two dollars a piece, roughly, when all is said and done. So uh, that's a dollar per person in, in salmon per meal, so that's really not bad if you sort of eat in moderation. That'd be about a buck each side, so... Because each piece is twelve dollars, so that was that was twelve right here. So it's all about how you do it, you know. You don't need to be eating a pound of salmon in one sitting. But uh, up to you. So we're going to process the second one and then we'll show you how we cook the stuff afterwards in case you've never done that. Alright, signing off for Mark Saloon. Done deal. So, we have about 12, 13 pieces like this that came out of that job. Pretty nice. So we just stick them in here and freeze them. Easy does it. We'll catch up with you when it's time to cook. So, uh, here's a piece of salmon that we're going to cook tonight. Fresh coho, never frozen before, so of course we're going to have a piece tonight. 
Um, we don't do much packaged foods, but this retired New York City cop out in Maui, he got to go on an all day season. So, um, it's one of the only packaged foods we eat. But, uh, let's see. We have celery salt, celery seed basically, salt. Spices including red pepper and black pepper and paprika. So, it's not the worst crime in the world, but it is McCormick, which is incredible that we even own something by McCormick. But anyway, just take the little shaker there and put it in on. It's just really good on salmon for some reason. I can't really see what I'm doing. That's really all there's to it. And you put it in at an oven that's uh, set to 325. And uh, basically, this is a gas oven, so I can just throw it right in because it's pretty much ready whenever you turn it on. So we'll catch up with you when the salmon's finished. About 15 minutes. So let's check it out and see how the fish is doing. Yep. When it starts to have the uh, that white milky looking stuff coming out, whatever that is, uh, fish juice of some sort, I guess, that means it's finished. So uh, we're good. We're gonna eat. So we got the beans on there. We we uh, sauteed some beans with garlic. There's another video that shows you how to do that. And then we're just gonna pull this off the skin here. Because that skin is not that exciting. There we go. Again, this is for two people, this meat, so just reminding you, it is possible to eat well and eat healthy and not break the bank. This is plenty for one person right there. So there you go. Signing off from Mork Saloon here to Friday night. Bon appetit.